Hello, we have some news today from Edwardsville in Illinois in the United States. Um, the Archaeological Field School of the Southern uh, Illinois University of Edwardsville uh, is recovering from uh, a, a bit of a traumatic event, really. Um, a couple of days ago, a series of precisely excavated sample pits, or test pits, I guess you might call them, um, had been left overnight. Uh, with awnings to cover them from the weather and um, apparently in safety except they weren't and they were found um, uh, the next day or a couple of days later um, by the students having been caved in uh, by apparent looters um, the problem is that uh, the excavations are trying to find out more about the woodland and Mississippi Mississippian cultures uh, which occupied, occupied the area um, up to 3,000 years ago and there's not much in the way of valuables um, or conventional valuables which can be found in this excavation um, what's even more annoying is that it was towards the southern end of the university campus so it, just, it feels like a violation in that respect um, surveying equipment and tools were taken um, and the students are just having to start over again so in that sense it's it's uh, it must be very downheartening um the the professor in charge said that that most of the material would be of little value um and uh he's right and what's even more upsetting is that any material which has been taken which might have been of value for example let's say some flints that could be sold uh, on on you know the uh the antiquities market um, their their archaeological value is utterly destroyed now because they've been divorced from their context, and no one's going to say, "Oh well, you know, I I, uh, I found this on the campus at uh, the Southern Illinois University of Edwardsville," are they? They're going to um, just say generic, uh, a generic cultural name, and sell it in a shop like that or on eBay or whatever. So, uh, not only have these students lost uh, momentarily, uh, lost their uh, their excavation and some tools, but also the cultural value of the site has been severely compromised. Um, for more on this story, simply go to the link below. Thank you very much.